the deep sea, a realm of perpetual darkness, a place where sunlight dares not tread. Here, miles beneath the surface, lies a world shrouded in mystery. For centuries, humanity has gazed out at the ocean's surface, wondering what secrets lie below, what creatures lurk in the abyssal depths, what wonders are hidden from our view. The ocean's depths have always called to us, whispering tales of the unknown, tales of strange creatures and unimaginable landscapes, tales that send chills down your spine. Today we embark on a journey, a journey into the heart of the abyss. Prepare yourself for what you are about to see will challenge your perception of life itself. Imagine a world without sunlight, a world where the only illumination comes from the faint glow of bioluminescent creatures. This is the reality of the deep sea, a place where life has adapted to survive in conditions that would be instantly fatal to us. As we descend further, the pressure increases. The water grows colder and darker, yet even in this unforgiving environment, life persists. Our submersible cuts through the inky blackness, its powerful lights illuminating the alien landscape below. We are about to enter a realm where few humans have ventured before. The deep sea is not a barren wasteland, it is teeming with life, but life that is often strange and unsettling to our eyes. Creatures here have evolved bizarre adaptations to survive in the absence of light and under immense pressure. Some are blind, relying on other senses to navigate. Others are bioluminescent, using their own light to attract prey or confuse predators. The creatures of the deep sea are a testament to the incredible adaptability of life. They are a reminder that our planet holds many secrets, waiting to be uncovered. But be warned, not all of these secrets are beautiful. Some are the stuff of nightmares. Despite the harsh conditions, the deep sea is a place of extraordinary biodiversity. Giant squid with eyes the size of dinner plates patrol the depths. Bioluminescent jellyfish pulse through the water like living fireworks. And on the ocean floor, strange and delicate creatures like the glass sponge cling to life. The deep sea is a constant reminder that life finds a way, even in the most extreme environments. It is a testament to the power of evolution and the endless creativity of nature. But as we venture deeper, the creatures become even more bizarre, their forms seemingly ripped from the pages of a science fiction novel. As we descend further, the pressure becomes immense. At these depths, the weight of the water above is equivalent to having several elephants standing on your head. Yet the creatures here are unfazed. Their bodies have adapted to withstand these crushing pressures. Some, like the blobfish, have gelatinous bodies that prevent them from being crushed. Others, like the giant isopod, have incredibly tough exoskeletons. The deep sea is a constant battle against the elements, a battle that these creatures have been winning for millions of years. But this battle is not just against the physical environment, it is also a battle for survival in a world of perpetual darkness and limited resources. Despite the darkness, the deep sea is not devoid of color. In fact, some of the most vibrant creatures on Earth reside here. Deep sea corals, unlike their shallow water cousins, do not rely on sunlight for survival. Instead, they obtain their food from the constant rain of organic matter that falls from the surface. These corals come in a dazzling array of colors, from brilliant reds and oranges to deep purples and blues. They are a living testament to the beauty that can be found even in the most unexpected of places. But this beauty is fragile and often overlooked. The deep sea is under threat from human activities such as pollution and climate change. The deep sea is a world of stealth and cunning. With limited food available, predators have evolved ingenious ways to hunt their prey. The anglerfish, for example, uses a bioluminescent lure dangling from its head to attract unsuspecting prey. When a fish gets close enough, the anglerfish strikes with lightning speed, its massive jaws snapping shut with bone-crushing force. Other predators, like the viperfish, have long, needle-like teeth that prevent their prey from escaping. And some, like the gulper eel, have enormous mouths that allow them to swallow prey larger than themselves. The deep sea is a constant game of cat and mouse, a silent battle for survival where only the most cunning and adaptable survive. Our submersible glides deeper into a realm where the only light comes from the creatures themselves. A mesmerizing ballet of bioluminescence unfolds before our eyes. Ethereal jellyfish pulse with an otherworldly glow their delicate bodies tracing patterns in the water, each flash a silent signal, a language we are only beginning to comprehend. These living lanterns are not merely beautiful, they are vital to the survival of many deep sea creatures. They lure prey, attract mates, and ward off predators in a world where darkness reigns supreme. But this mesmerizing dance of lights also hides a darker side, a constant struggle for survival, where every flicker could be a matter of life or death. One of the most iconic deep-sea creatures is the anglerfish, 
a master of deception in the abyssal darkness. Its bioluminescent lure, a beacon in the black, dangles enticingly above its gaping maw. Unsuspecting prey, drawn to the light like moths to a flame, venture too close. In a flash, the anglerfish strikes, its razor-sharp teeth snapping shut with bone-crushing force. But the anglerfish's lure is not just a tool for hunting. It also plays a crucial role in attracting a mate in the vast emptiness of the deep. The female anglerfish, much larger than the male, releases a specific pattern of flashes from her lure. This luminescent signal guides the male to her, ensuring the continuation of their species in the depths. As we descend further, the water grows colder, the pressure more intense. We are entering the realm known as the Midnight Zone, a place of perpetual darkness and crushing depths. Strange and unsettling creatures adapted to this extreme environment come into view. Their bodies, often grotesque in appearance, reflect the harsh realities of life in this unforgiving realm. The goblin shark, with its elongated snout and protrusible jaws, is a nightmare brought to life. Its ghostly white skin and eerie, dead-eyed stare send shivers down the spine. This elusive predator, rarely observed in its natural habitat, is a testament to the bizarre and wonderful diversity of life that thrives in the deep. The submersible's sensitive microphones pick up a series of clicks, whistles and groans. These are the sounds of the deep, a symphony of strange and unsettling noises that echo through the abyss. Some of these sounds are produced by marine mammals like whales and dolphins communicating across vast distances. Others originate from the movements of fish and invertebrates, their bodies scraping against the seabed or their fins cutting through the water. But many of these sounds remain unidentified, their origins a mystery yet to be unraveled. They are a constant reminder that we are only just beginning to understand the complex and interconnected web of life that exists in the deep sea. These whispers in the dark fuel our curiosity, urging us to delve deeper, to listen more closely, and to unravel the secrets hidden beneath the waves. The submersible's lights illuminate a sight both mesmerizing and macabre. A colony of giant spider crabs, their spindly legs spanning several feet, crawls across the seabed. These grotesque creatures with their spindly limbs and bulbous eyes seem to dance a macabre ballet as they scavenge for food in the abyssal darkness. Their movements, slow and deliberate, belie their predatory nature. Their powerful claws can crush shells and bones, making them formidable hunters in the deep sea environment. As we observe these bizarre creatures, we are reminded that beauty can be found in the most unexpected of places. Even in the depths of the ocean, where darkness reigns and life takes on strange and unsettling forms. Our submersible's cameras capture a glimpse of a creature that seems to defy classification. A nautilus, a living fossil, drifts past, its spiral shell gleaming in the submersible's light. This ancient cephalopod, a relative of squid and octopuses, has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years. Its shell, a marvel of natural engineering, is a chambered spiral filled with gas that allows the nautilus to control its buoyancy. The Nautilus navigates the depths using jet propulsion, expelling water through a siphon to propel itself forward. Its large eyes, though lacking lenses, are surprisingly sophisticated, allowing it to detect changes in light and movement in the water. Observing this living fossil is like taking a trip back in time, a glimpse into a world long gone yet still present in the depths of our oceans. Suddenly, a pair of enormous eyes glowing an eerie green in the submersible's lights materializes out of the darkness. A colossal squid, one of the largest invertebrates on Earth, hangs motionless in the water, its massive body dwarfed only by its enormous eyes. Its tentacles, armed with rows of sharp hooks, are held close to its body, ready to strike with lightning speed. This is a predator at the top of its food chain, a master of ambush in the abyssal depths. The colossal squid's eyes are thought to be the largest in the animal kingdom, allowing it to detect the faintest bioluminescent flashes from prey in the pitch-black depths. This incredible adaptation highlights the extreme lengths to which life has gone to thrive in the deep sea. Life in the deep sea is a constant battle for survival, where resources are scarce and only the most adaptable thrive. Competition for food, mates and territory is fierce, driving the evolution of bizarre and often terrifying adaptations. We witness a deep sea dragonfish, its jaws agape, revealing rows of needle-sharp teeth as it lunges at a school of bioluminescent shrimp. The shrimps scatter in a burst of light, their bioluminescence both a blessing and a curse, attracting predators as much as it deters them. A vampire squid, its name a testament to its blood-red body and webbed arms, deploys a cloak of bioluminescent mucus to confuse predators. The shimmering cloud of light provides a momentary distraction, allowing the squid to disappear into the darkness. 
As our journey through this alien world continues, we are struck by the delicate balance that governs this unique ecosystem. Despite the harsh conditions and intense competition, life in the deep sea exists in a state of interconnectedness. Predators rely on prey, scavengers clean up the remains, and decomposers recycle nutrients back into the ecosystem. Even the smallest and seemingly insignificant creatures play a vital role in maintaining the health and stability of this hidden world. The deep sea, once thought to be a barren wasteland, is now recognized as a vital part of our planet's biosphere. It is a reservoir of biodiversity, a source of wonder, and a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. Deeper still we venture into a realm where the pressure could crush a tank. Yet the submersible's powerful lights reveal a world teeming with life, defying the odds, challenging our very notion of what it means to exist. Giant isopods, prehistoric looking crustaceans scuttle across the seabed, their segmented bodies a testament to their ancient lineage. Their blank black eyes seem to stare right through us, a reminder that we are mere visitors in their domain. The abyss gazes back, not with malice, but with indifference, a chilling reminder of the vastness of the ocean and the insignificance of our presence in the grand scheme of this alien world. Down here, survival is a triumph, a testament to the tenacity of life itself. We are but observers, privy to a world hidden from most, a world that exists beyond the reach of sunlight and the boundaries of our imagination. We encounter a creature of extraordinary grace and beauty, a deep-sea jellyfish, its translucent bell pulsing with a hypnotic rhythm. It glides effortlessly through the water, trailing long, delicate tentacles like gossamer threads. This ethereal being, a phantom of the deep, seems to dance to a silent symphony, its movements a mesmerizing ballet of light and shadow. Its bioluminescence, a cold, otherworldly glow, illuminates the surrounding darkness, revealing fleeting glimpses of otherworldly creatures. The deep sea is a realm of constant surprises where beauty can be found in the most unexpected of forms. These jellyfish, far from being the stinging menaces of shallow waters, are delicate, graceful creatures, living embodiments of the alien elegance that pervades this hidden world. As quickly as it appeared, the jellyfish vanishes into the blackness, leaving behind a trail of shimmering light, a fleeting memory of a creature that seems to exist on the edge of reality itself. A cluster of deep-sea corals comes into view, their intricate structures resembling a fantastical underwater garden. But amongst their branches, something stirs, a colony of bioluminescent squid, their tentacles writhing in a mesmerizing display. These cephalopods, masters of camouflage and communication, flash intricate patterns of light across their bodies. Each flash a silent signal, a language we are only beginning to decipher. Are they hunting, mating, or simply communicating with their kin in this world devoid of sunlight? The deep sea is a symphony of senses, where sound, light, and chemicals play a far greater role than sight. These squid, with their bioluminescent displays, offer a glimpse into this complex and fascinating world of underwater communication. Their tentacles, lined with suckers and hooks, are both tools for hunting and delicate sensory organs, tasting, touching, and feeling their way through the darkness. Their intelligence, evident in their intricate signaling, challenges our assumptions about the minds of creatures so alien to our own. Our submersible's lights illuminate a creature that seems to have traveled through time, a chimera, also known as a ghost shark. Its cartilaginous skeleton and eerie, dead-eyed stare evoking a sense of primeval wonder. This ancient fish, a distant relative of sharks and rays, has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years. Its elongated snout, studded with sensory pores, helps it to detect the faint electrical fields generated by prey hidden in the sediment. The chimera is a living fossil, a testament to the incredible diversity and resilience of life on Earth. Its existence in this deep, dark world reminds us that the oceans hold countless secrets waiting to be discovered. Its ghostly presence, a fleeting apparition in the submersible's lights, leaves us with a profound sense of awe and wonder at the sheer age and mystery of the deep ocean. A flash of silver, a blur of motion, a six-gill shark, a predator from the depths, glides past the submersible, its primitive features a chilling reminder of the ocean's ancient origins. Unlike most sharks, which have five gill slits, this ancient predator possesses six, a throwback to its prehistoric ancestors. Its massive size, reaching lengths of over 16 feet, and its powerful jaws lined with razor-sharp teeth, make it a formidable apex predator of the deep. The six-gill shark's presence is a stark reminder that even in the abyss, danger lurks. It is a testament to the power and efficiency of evolution, shaping creatures to thrive in even the most extreme environments. Its cold black eyes, devoid of malice, reflect the indifference of nature, a world where survival is paramount, and the line between predator and prey is razor thin. 
we descend deeper into a realm where food is scarce and survival depends on stealth and cunning. Here, amongst the rocky outcrops and sediment-covered plains, lie masters of disguise, waiting patiently for their next meal. A wobbegong shark, its flattened body covered in tassels and fleshy lobes, lies perfectly camouflaged against the seabed, resembling a patch of algae or a rock. Its gaping maw, armed with rows of needle-sharp teeth, is a deadly trap for unsuspecting prey. A bobbit worm, its iridescent body hidden within a burrow in the sediment, waits patiently for its prey to venture too close. With lightning-fast reflexes it strikes, its powerful jaws snapping shut on its victim with bone-crushing force. The deep sea is a realm of stealth and cunning where every encounter could be a matter of life or death. These ambush predators, masters of disguise and deception, remind us that even in the abyss, intelligence and adaptability are key to survival. The submersible's cameras capture a scene both gruesome and essential to the delicate balance of the deep sea ecosystem. A group of deep sea scavengers, drawn by the scent of decay, feast upon the carcass of a dead whale that has fallen to the ocean floor. Giant isopods, their segmented bodies working in unison, tear chunks of flesh from the whale's bones. Hagfish, eel-like creatures with rows of rasping teeth, burrow into the carcass, consuming it from the inside out. This macabre feast, while unsettling to our eyes, is a vital part of the deep-sea food web. The whale fall provides a sudden and massive influx of nutrients into an otherwise barren environment, supporting a diverse community of scavengers and decomposers. Even in death, life finds a way. The cycle of life and death, predator and prey, continues relentlessly, even in the deepest reaches of our planet. As we continue our exploration, we are struck by the fragility of this alien world. The deep sea, once thought to be immune to human influence, is now facing increasing threats from pollution, climate change and deep sea mining. Plastic waste, carried by currents from the surface, now litters even the deepest parts of the ocean, ingested by marine life with often fatal consequences. Ocean acidification, caused by the absorption of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, is weakening the shells and skeletons of deep sea creatures, threatening their very survival. The deep sea, far from being a remote and isolated realm, is intricately connected to the rest of the planet. What happens on the surface has a direct and often devastating impact on the delicate balance of life in the abyss. It is our responsibility to protect this hidden world, to ensure that future generations can marvel at its wonders and learn from its secrets. The fate of the deep sea, and indeed the fate of our planet, hangs in the balance. Our journey into the abyss is coming to an end. The submersible begins its slow ascent, leaving behind a world of darkness, pressure and extraordinary life. We have witnessed creatures that defy imagination, ecosystems that operate on principles we are only beginning to understand. The deep sea, once a realm of myth and legend, has revealed some of its secrets to us. But countless mysteries remain, waiting to be unraveled. Each expedition yields new discoveries, challenging our assumptions about life on Earth and inspiring us to delve deeper into the unknown. The exploration of the deep sea is not merely a scientific endeavor, it is a journey of discovery, a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. It is a reminder that our planet still holds countless wonders waiting to be explored and understood, but most importantly, it is a call to action. The deep sea, this alien world teeming with life, needs our protection. It is up to us to ensure that its fragile beauty and ecological integrity are preserved for generations to come. We venture deeper still, beyond the reach of even the faintest glimmer of sunlight, into the Hadal Zone, the deepest part of the ocean. Here the pressure is unimaginable, the darkness absolute, and the creatures that inhabit this realm seem like something out of a science fiction novel. The submersible groans and creaks as it descends, the immense pressure of the water above testing its limits. Outside the darkness is all-encompassing, broken only by the eerie glow of the submersible's lights. This is a realm of extremes where survival depends on adaptations beyond our comprehension. Yet even here, life finds a way. Our cameras capture fleeting glimpses of bizarre, translucent creatures, their bodies seemingly molded by the immense pressure. Fish with gaping maws and bioluminescent lures, jellyfish pulsating with otherworldly light, and crustaceans with elongated limbs, all adapted to a life in perpetual darkness and crushing depths. The pressure at this depth is almost beyond comprehension, over eight tons per square inch, equivalent to having the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing down on every square foot of the submersible. Yet the creatures here are unfazed. 
Their bodies have evolved over millennia to withstand these extreme conditions. Their cells contain special molecules that prevent proteins from being crushed, and their tissues are more gelatinous, allowing them to withstand the immense pressure. Life in the Hadal Zone is a testament to the incredible adaptability of nature. It shows us that even in the most extreme environments on Earth, life can not only survive but thrive. It is a humbling thought, a reminder that for all our technological advancements, we are still at the mercy of the natural world and its awe-inspiring power. Down here in the cold, dark depths of the Hadal Zone, life moves at a different pace. Metabolic rates are slower, lifespans longer, and reproduction less frequent. Food is scarce and every calorie counts. We observe a deep-sea amphipod, a small crustacean, scavenging for food on the seabed. Its movements are slow and deliberate, conserving precious energy in this energy-deprived environment. The Hadal Zone is a world of patience and resilience, where survival depends on making the most of limited resources and adapting to an environment that would be instantly fatal to most other creatures on Earth. It is a stark contrast to the hustle and bustle of life on the surface, a reminder that there are other ways of being, other rhythms of existence that we are only just beginning to understand. The creatures of the Hadal Zone exhibit a breathtaking array of adaptations that allow them to survive in this extreme environment. Giant isopods, scavengers of the deep, can go for months without eating, their slow metabolisms allowing them to conserve energy. Anglerfish, with their bioluminescent lures, attract prey in the pitch-black darkness, their gaping maws and expandable stomachs allowing them to consume prey larger than themselves. Deep-sea hatchetfish, with their flattened bodies and silvery scales, reflect the faintest glimmer of light, camouflaging themselves against the darkness and confusing predators. The Hadal Zone is a living laboratory of evolution where the pressure to adapt or perish has resulted in some of the most bizarre and fascinating creatures on Earth. As we begin our ascent from the Hadal Zone, we pass back through the Twilight Zone, a realm of perpetual twilight, where the faintest glimmer of sunlight penetrates the depths. Here the water is teeming with life, a dazzling display of bioluminescence illuminating the darkness. We encounter schools of lanternfish, their bodies covered in light-producing organs, creating a mesmerizing underwater light show. A giant siphonophore, a colony of interconnected organisms, drifts past, its tentacles trailing for dozens of feet, capturing prey with stinging cells. The twilight zone is a realm of both beauty and terror, a reminder that even in the depths of the ocean, life finds a way to thrive. Bioluminescence, the ability of living organisms to produce light, is a common adaptation in the deep sea. It serves a multitude of purposes, from attracting prey to confusing predators and even finding mates. Some creatures, like anglerfish, use bioluminescent lures to attract prey in the darkness. Others, like hatchetfish, use bioluminescence for counter-illumination, matching the faint light filtering down from the surface to camouflage themselves against predators. Still, others use bioluminescence for communication, signaling to potential mates or warning off rivals. The deep sea is a symphony of light, a dazzling display of biological ingenuity that has allowed life to flourish in even the darkest corners of our planet. The deep sea may seem like a desolate and unforgiving environment, but it is home to a complex and interconnected food web. At the base of this web are microscopic organisms such as bacteria and phytoplankton that convert energy from sunlight or chemicals into organic matter. These organisms are then consumed by zooplankton, small animals that drift in the currents, which in turn become food for larger creatures such as fish, squid and whales. The deep sea food web is a delicate balance with each organism playing a vital role in maintaining the health of the ecosystem. Disruptions to this balance, such as overfishing or pollution, can have cascading effects throughout the food web, with potentially devastating consequences for deep sea life. As we continue our ascent, the terrain below transforms into a vast, flat expanse. The abyssal plains, the largest habitat on Earth, covering over half of the planet's surface. The abyssal plains are covered in a thick layer of fine sediment, the remnants of dead organisms and other organic matter that has drifted down from the surface over millennia. This sediment-covered landscape may seem barren, but it is teeming with microscopic life, bacteria and invertebrates that feed on the organic matter. The abyssal plains are a vital part of the global carbon cycle, storing vast amounts of carbon that would otherwise contribute to climate change. Our journey through the deep sea culminates at a truly remarkable site, a hydrothermal vent, a geyser on the seafloor where superheated mineral-rich water spews from the Earth's crust. These vents support a unique and thriving ecosystem, independent of sunlight based on chemosynthesis, a process where bacteria convert chemicals from the vent fluids into energy. 
Giant tube worms, clams, mussels and shrimps, all adapted to the extreme temperatures and toxic chemicals, thrive in this alien environment. Hydrothermal vents are a testament to the tenacity of life and the incredible diversity of ecosystems found on our planet. They are a reminder that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way. Our journey into the deep sea has been a revelation, a glimpse into a world that is both alien and awe-inspiring. It has shown us the incredible adaptability of life, the delicate balance of ecosystems, and the importance of protecting this hidden realm from human harm. Our journey into the deep sea has relied on the ingenuity of engineers and the courage of explorers, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and technological innovation. For centuries, the abyss remained hidden from view, its secrets locked away beneath miles of water and crushing pressure. Early attempts at deep sea exploration, from diving bells to rudimentary submersibles, offered tantalizing glimpses into this alien world, but were limited by the technology of the time. It wasn't until the mid-20th century, with the development of advanced submersibles, sonar, and remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, that we truly began to unlock the mysteries of the deep. Today, cutting-edge technologies allow us to explore the deep sea in greater detail than ever before, revealing its secrets and highlighting the importance of understanding and protecting this vital part of our planet. The exploration of the deep sea would be impossible without the development of specialized technologies designed to withstand the crushing pressure, frigid temperatures, and perpetual darkness. Submersibles, marvels of engineering, allow us to venture into this extreme environment. These underwater vessels, equipped with powerful lights, high-definition cameras, and robotic arms, serve as our eyes and hands in the abyss, allowing us to observe and interact with deep-sea life in its natural habitat. Sonar systems utilizing sound waves help us to map the ocean floor, revealing its hidden topography from towering sea mounts to vast abyssal plains. Advanced imaging techniques such as remotely operated vehicles or ROVs and autonomous underwater vehicles or AUVs provide us with unprecedented views of deep sea ecosystems, revealing their complexity and fragility. These technologies, constantly evolving and improving, are essential tools for deep sea exploration expanding our knowledge of this hidden world and highlighting the importance of its conservation. Remotely operated vehicles or ROVs have revolutionized deep sea exploration, allowing us to reach depths and explore environments that would be too dangerous or impossible for humans to access directly. These tethered robots, controlled from a surface vessel or research platform, are equipped with an array of sensors, cameras and sampling tools, allowing scientists to observe, collect data and even conduct experiments in the deep sea. ROVs have been instrumental in discovering new species, exploring hydrothermal vents, and investigating the impacts of human activities on deep-sea ecosystems. Their maneuverability and ability to remain submerged for extended periods make them invaluable tools for deep-sea research, providing us with a window into this hidden world and its inhabitants. Autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVs, operate independently following pre-programmed missions to explore vast areas of the ocean floor. These uncrewed submersibles, equipped with sophisticated sonar systems, cameras, and environmental sensors, can map the seabed, collect water samples, and study marine life without direct human intervention. AUVs are particularly useful for exploring remote and challenging environments, such as the Arctic Ocean or beneath ice shelves, where access is difficult or dangerous. Their ability to operate autonomously for extended periods allows them to collect vast amounts of data, providing valuable insights into the physical, chemical, and biological processes that shape the deep sea. While technology plays a crucial role in deep sea exploration, it is the human spirit of curiosity, ingenuity, and courage that drives us to explore the unknown. From the early pioneers who ventured into the depths in rudimentary diving bells, to the modern day, Aquanauts who live and work underwater for extended periods, humans have always been drawn to the mysteries of the deep. Deep sea exploration is not for the faint of heart. It requires immense technical expertise, meticulous planning, and the ability to adapt to unexpected challenges. Yet the rewards are immeasurable, expanding our knowledge of the planet, inspiring new technologies, and reminding us of the awe-inspiring power and beauty of the natural world. Deep sea exploration has yielded a treasure trove of discoveries, challenging our understanding of life on Earth and revealing the interconnectedness of all living things. The discovery of hydrothermal vents teeming with life forms that thrive on chemosynthesis rather than sunlight revolutionized our understanding of how life can exist in the absence of photosynthesis. The identification of thousands of new species, from bizarre deep sea fish to giant squid, 
highlights the incredible biodiversity of the deep sea and its importance as a reservoir of genetic diversity. The mapping of the ocean floor has revealed vast underwater mountain ranges trenches deeper than Mount Everest is tall and ancient coral reefs that provide a glimpse into past climates. These discoveries and countless others underscore the importance of continued deep sea exploration not only for scientific advancement but for the benefit of humanity. The deep sea, with its alien landscapes, bizarre creatures and extreme conditions, has long captured the human imagination, inspiring art, literature and mythology. From Jules Verne's classic novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to James Cameron's blockbuster film The Abyss, the deep sea has served as a backdrop for tales of adventure, mystery and the unknown. The otherworldly beauty of deep sea creatures with their bioluminescent displays, translucent bodies and bizarre adaptations has inspired artists, designers and musicians, influencing everything from fashion to music. The deep sea is a reminder that our planet is full of wonder and mystery, a source of endless inspiration for those who dare to explore its hidden depths. Deep sea exploration is not merely a pursuit of knowledge for its own sake. It has profound implications for understanding and addressing some of the most pressing challenges facing our planet. The deep sea plays a vital role in regulating global climate, absorbing vast amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and influencing ocean currents. Deep sea organisms produce a wealth of bioactive compounds with potential applications in medicine, biotechnology and other industries. Understanding the deep sea is crucial for managing fisheries, protecting marine biodiversity and mitigating the impacts of pollution and climate change. Investing in deep sea exploration is an investment in our future, providing invaluable knowledge and resources that can benefit all of humanity. As we continue to explore and learn more about the deep sea, it is imperative that we do so responsibly, recognizing the fragility of this unique and vital ecosystem. Pollution, climate change and destructive fishing practices pose significant threats to deep sea ecosystems, putting at risk the very creatures and habitats we are only just beginning to understand. International cooperation, sustainable management practices and increased public awareness are essential for protecting the deep sea for future generations. It is our shared responsibility to ensure that the wonders of the deep sea continue to inspire and amaze us for centuries to come. The deep sea, once a hidden realm, is now within our reach, its secrets slowly being revealed. But with this knowledge comes a responsibility to protect this fragile and vital part of our planet. Let us explore responsibly, conserve diligently, and ensure that the wonders of the deep sea continue to inspire and amaze generations to come. As our submersible breaks the surface, returning to a world bathed in sunlight, we carry with us not just data and specimens, but a profound sense of awe and responsibility. The journey into the depths of the ocean is not merely a scientific expedition, it is a voyage into the unknown, a quest to understand the mysteries that lie beneath the waves. Each dive brings us closer to the heart of our planet, revealing secrets that have been hidden for millennia. The sunlight that now bathes our vessel is a stark contrast to the inky darkness we have left behind, a reminder of the duality of our world, the light and the dark, the known and the unknown. The deep sea, once a distant and alien realm, now feels strangely familiar. Its inhabitants no longer monsters in the dark, but fellow travelers on this planet we call home. These creatures, with their bioluminescent glow and otherworldly forms, have adapted to survive in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. They are a testament to the resilience of life, thriving in conditions that would be inhospitable to most other forms of life. As we observe these remarkable beings, we are reminded of the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. Each species, no matter how strange or different, plays a crucial role in the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. We have witnessed firsthand the extraordinary adaptations, the delicate beauty and the vital role that deep sea ecosystems play in the balance of our planet. The coral reefs with their vibrant colors and diverse inhabitants are not just beautiful to look at, they are essential to the health of our oceans. These underwater gardens provide shelter and food for countless marine species, supporting a complex web of life. The unique marine species we encounter are not just fascinating subjects of study, they are indicators of the health of our oceans. Their presence or absence can tell us a great deal about the state of our marine environments. We have seen creatures that seem to defy imagination, thriving in conditions that would be instantly fatal to us. 
These beings with their bizarre shapes and extraordinary adaptations challenge our understanding of what life can be. They remind us that life is incredibly diverse and adaptable, capable of thriving in even the most extreme conditions. Each encounter with these strange creatures is a humbling experience, a reminder of the vastness of the unknown and the limits of our knowledge. It is a call to continue exploring, to keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding. The darkness we leave behind is not empty, it is teeming with life, a reminder that our planet holds countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. The deep sea is a world of contrasts where darkness and light, life and death coexist in a delicate balance. It is a place where the boundaries between the known and the unknown blur, where every discovery raises new questions. As we ascend to the surface, we carry with us a sense of wonder and curiosity, a desire to learn more about this hidden world. The deep sea is a frontier, a place of endless possibilities and untold stories, but the deep sea is also a fragile world, vulnerable to the impacts of human activities from pollution to climate change. The delicate balance of these ecosystems can be easily disrupted with devastating consequences for the marine life that depends on them. Pollution, from plastic waste to chemical contaminants, poses a significant threat to the health of our oceans. Climate change, with its rising temperatures and acidifying waters, is another major challenge. These threats are not just problems for the deep sea, they are problems for all of us. The health of our oceans is inextricably linked to the health of our planet. The reflections dancing on the water's surface mirror the questions that linger in our minds. What have we learned from our journey into the abyss? How can we use this knowledge to protect the fragile ecosystems we have come to know and love? The answers to these questions are not simple, but they are essential. Our journey into the deep has given us a new perspective on our planet, a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all life. It has shown us the beauty and fragility of our oceans and the urgent need to protect them. And how can we use this knowledge to protect this hidden realm for generations to come? The answer lies in our actions. We must take steps to reduce our impact on the oceans, from reducing pollution to mitigating climate change. We must support marine conservation efforts, protecting the habitats and species that are so vital to the health of our planet. Sustainable ocean practices, from responsible fishing to the creation of marine protected areas, are essential. Our journey into the deep has shown us the importance of these efforts and the need to act now to ensure the future of our oceans. The deep sea is a treasure, a source of wonder and inspiration, and it is our responsibility to protect it. Our journey into the deep sea has been a humbling experience, a voyage into the unknown that has opened our eyes to the vastness and complexity of the underwater world. As we descend into the depths, we are reminded of the sheer scale of our planet and the incredible diversity of life it supports. This journey serves as a poignant reminder that we are but one species on a planet teeming with life, each organism playing a crucial role in the intricate web of ecosystems that span the globe. From the smallest plankton to the largest whales, every creature has its place and purpose. Much of this life remains hidden from our view, residing in the ocean depths that were once thought to be barren wastelands. These depths, shrouded in darkness and mystery, have been revealed as vibrant ecosystems teeming with life and activity. The ocean floor, far from being a desolate place, is home to a myriad of creatures, each adapted to survive in this unique environment. From the colorful coral reefs to the strange and wonderful deep sea creatures, the diversity of life is astounding. We have encountered bioluminescent organisms that light up the dark waters, creating a mesmerizing display of natural light. These creatures, with their unique adaptations, showcase the incredible ingenuity of life in finding ways to thrive in the most extreme conditions. In the absence of sunlight, life has found alternative sources of energy, such as the hydrothermal vents that spew mineral-rich water from the ocean floor. These vents support entire ecosystems with organisms that have adapted to harness the chemical energy released by these underwater geysers. The deep sea is a place of extremes where life must endure crushing pressures and near freezing temperatures. Yet despite these harsh conditions, we have witnessed the resilience of life with species that have evolved remarkable adaptations to survive and thrive. 
The delicate balance of deep sea food webs is a testament to the interconnectedness of all living things. From the tiniest microbes to the largest whales, each organism plays a vital role in maintaining the health and stability of these ecosystems. The deep sea is a testament to the power of evolution, showcasing the incredible diversity and adaptability of life. It is a realm where the boundaries of what is possible are constantly being pushed, revealing new and unexpected forms of life. The resilience of life in the deep sea is a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. It is a universe unto itself, a realm of mystery and wonder that continues to surprise and inspire us with its beauty and complexity. But this hidden world is facing growing threats from human activities. Climate change, ocean acidification, pollution and overfishing are all taking a toll on these fragile ecosystems. The impact of these activities is far-reaching, affecting not only the deep sea, but the entire planet. It is our responsibility to protect this unique and vital ecosystem, to ensure that its wonders continue to inspire and amaze future generations. Conservation efforts are crucial in preserving the delicate balance of life in the deep sea, safeguarding the biodiversity that is essential for the health of our planet. By taking action to reduce our impact on the oceans, we can help to protect this incredible underwater universe. Through sustainable practices, marine protected areas, and global cooperation, we can ensure that the deep sea remains a place of wonder and discovery for generations to come. We, as a species, have a moral imperative to protect the deep sea, not just for its intrinsic value, but for the crucial role it plays in maintaining the health of our planet. The deep sea is a mysterious and largely unexplored frontier, teeming with life forms that have adapted to its extreme conditions. These unique ecosystems are not only fascinating, but also vital to the overall health of our oceans and by extension our planet. The deep ocean regulates our climate, absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and provides a vital source of food and resources for billions of people. It acts as a giant carbon sink, helping to mitigate the effects of climate change by storing vast amounts of carbon dioxide. Additionally, the deep sea is home to many species that are crucial for the marine food web, supporting fisheries that millions of people rely on for their livelihoods and nutrition. Yet for too long, we have treated the deep sea as a dumping ground, out of sight, out of mind. This neglect has led to severe consequences with pollutants accumulating in these remote areas. The deep sea is not immune to the impacts of human activity. In fact, it is often more vulnerable due to its slow recovery rates. The damage we inflict on these ecosystems can take centuries to repair, if at all. Plastic waste, chemical pollutants and noise pollution from shipping and oil and gas exploration are all taking their toll on this fragile ecosystem. Microplastics have been found in the deepest parts of the ocean, ingested by marine life and entering the food chain. Chemical pollutants such as heavy metals and toxic substances accumulate in the tissues of deep sea creatures, posing a threat to their health and the health of those who consume them. Noise pollution disrupts the natural behaviors of marine animals, affecting their communication, navigation, and breeding patterns. We must become guardians of the abyss, advocating for responsible deep sea management practices, supporting sustainable fisheries, and reducing our impact on this vital part of our planet. This involves implementing stricter regulations on deep sea mining and fishing, promoting the use of environmentally friendly technologies, and encouraging international cooperation to protect these shared resources. By working together, we can ensure that the deep sea remains a thriving and resilient ecosystem for future generations. We must urge governments and industries to prioritize the health of the ocean, investing in research, implementing conservation measures, and transitioning to more sustainable practices. Governments play a crucial role in setting policies and regulations that protect the deep sea, while industries must adopt best practices to minimize their environmental footprint. Increased funding for ocean research is essential to better understand these complex ecosystems and develop effective conservation strategies. The future of the deep sea, and indeed the future of our planet, depends on our collective action. Every individual, community, and organization has a part to play in safeguarding these precious environments. 
By raising awareness, supporting conservation initiatives and making sustainable choices in our daily lives, we can contribute to the protection of the deep sea. Education and outreach are key to fostering a sense of stewardship and responsibility towards our oceans. We must act now with urgency and determination to protect this hidden world for generations to come. The time to act is now, before the damage becomes irreversible. By taking immediate and decisive action, we can preserve the deep sea's biodiversity and ensure that it continues to provide essential services to our planet. Let us commit to being the guardians of the abyss dedicated to the conservation and sustainable use of our ocean's depths. The deep sea, for all its wonder and beauty, remains largely unexplored, a vast frontier of scientific discovery. Every expedition yields new insights, new species and new understandings of the complex interplay of life on our planet. The challenges of exploring this extreme environment are immense, requiring cutting-edge technology, international collaboration and unwavering human courage. But the potential rewards are equally vast, promising to unlock secrets of our planet's history, reveal new sources of bioluminescence for medical applications and inspire new technologies based on the ingenious adaptations of deep-sea creatures. The call of the unknown beckons, urging us to delve deeper, to push the boundaries of human ingenuity and to unravel the mysteries that lie hidden beneath the waves. The deep sea holds the key to understanding not just our planet's past, but also its future, offering solutions to some of the most pressing challenges facing humanity. Let us answer that call, not with reckless exploitation, but with reverence, curiosity, and a deep commitment to protecting this last great wilderness on Earth. As we gaze out at the vast expanse of the ocean, we are reminded that its depths hold a world as precious and as vulnerable as our own. The deep sea, with its alien beauty, its delicate balance, and its vital role in maintaining the health of our planet, is a world worth protecting. Let us carry the wonders we have witnessed, the lessons we have learned, and the sense of responsibility we feel back to the surface, sharing them with the world. Let us inspire others to care about the deep sea, to appreciate its beauty, and to join us in protecting it. For in safeguarding the deep sea, we are not just protecting a collection of strange and wonderful creatures, we are protecting a vital part of our planet's life support system, a source of wonder and inspiration for generations to come, and a testament to the boundless creativity and resilience of life itself. Thank you for joining us on this journey through deep sea. Please like, comment and share the video, and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.